Drive Tesla Canada is reporting that SpaceX's plan to extend cellular coverage using Starlink satellites with T-Mobile faces resistance from AT&T and Verizon. The telecom giants urged the FCC to reject SpaceX's waiver request to operate beyond standard radio frequency limits. AT&T and Verizon, working on their own satellite-to-phone services with AST Space Mobile, argue that SpaceX's proposed increase in power flux density limits would interfere with existing networks. AT&T claims this could reduce network downlink throughput by 18% in areas like AT&T's Pieces C block market. Verizon predicts degraded wireless phone performance, stating the changes would harm incumbent terrestrial operations. Both companies stress that the FCC's SCS order aims to protect terrestrial mobile networks from interference. Verizon added that SpaceX's proposal undermines the FCC's goal of protecting essential services for millions of Americans. SpaceX and T-Mobile argue their service won't harm other wireless operations, calling competitors' objections misleading. SpaceX claims the current emissions limit is too strict and needs reconsideration to deliver life-saving services. T-Mobile, with licenses in pieces G-Block and pieces C-Block, is confident there will be no interference. SpaceX has launched over 100 satellites with direct-to-cellular capabilities and plans to roll out the service later this year. AT&T and Verizon are still in early development stages of their satellite networks. Outside the U.S., SpaceX plans to roll out direct-to-cellular capabilities with network providers like Rogers in Canada. You are listening to Yuan News.